Rob, you happy to only have to make one change and it's injury enforced? Yeah. Uh, yeah, look, I mean, we... Um, very sad to lose a guy like Sabu who's had a fantastic season. Um, but, you know, we, we have Oddi that's that will be playing his 251st game for this union. It's an absolute stalwart. So, uh, yeah, great to have him uh, to fill that position. And then Reno that's coming onto the bench that's, that's really done well for us in the past. Uh, well, you know, in the games that he's played for us. Rob, you guys have been going really hard for 13 weeks or so now. Um, it's now so tantalizingly close. Um, yeah. Are you trying to just like, avoid you know, the pressure of just one more hurdle or just uh, sit down, just finish the, finish the mission? Yeah, it all comes down to this game now. But um, uh, as you say, you know, the boys have done all the hard work. Um, uh, I'm incredibly proud of them. Uh, they've been fantastic. Uh, and uh, now it's to be calm and and composed, and uh, that's what we're going to need on Saturday. Your team sheet has an, a nice <coughs> mix, actually, of a lot of experience and, yeah. and some really exciting youth. But it's good to have that, that exact mix. Yeah. Unlikely to miss out for, for Spoo, obviously, but then on yes. the other hand, you get Odwa and all that experience yeah. as well. Keegan, Ron. Yeah. Very experienced players to settle the the young bucks down. Yeah, no, I did right, Gareth. Uh, the, the, and and the and the senior guys or the more experienced guys have played a massive role uh, with regards to uh, the leadership in the group. Um, so uh, yeah, that's been great. Bob, this has been a lot said in the media this week about pulling up to this final. How important is it to just kind of block out all of that noise, outside noise, and just concentrate on, on the eighty minutes? Yeah, it's really important, eh? It's it's very important because um, you know at the end of the day it's a final, but it's it's just another rugby game. It's not, uh, and I, and I think that's that's really important for us to be cool and calm. You know, cool and calm going into the uh, into this game. Uh, we've done all the work. Uh, the guys have just got to go and express themselves now. Rob was. Sorry, was, was, was last week in a sense possibly even a more trickier game? Much harder, much harder to play in a semi. semi yeah. yeah, because that's it. You know, if you if you don't do well there, and you out, and you out, you know. So, so yeah, much harder game. <clears throat> Rob, uh, it's been a Curry Cup where um, it's been characterised by lots of tries, high scoring, 46-43 sort of score lines, and that. Mm -hmm. You guys have obviously had a great defence. Western Province seem to have gone back to. A bit of their previous tricks, they're yeah. also a really defensively suffocating side. How, how important is patience going to be for you guys? All? Yeah, very important. Yeah, it's going to be very important on both on attack and defence. Patience is it's going to be key. Patience and game management. Robert, how, how's um? I mean, the last time I was in Durban for for your, I think when you were playing the Stormers, and, and Robert wasn't playing. And I say Robert, I mean Robert Junior. Yeah. Um, he is playing now, and I think that he's got quite a good record against the Sharks in the sense that the one game they have won this year was he was playing, and the yeah. two he was I think he was one on the bench at that time. That's right. He came on late, so I mean he does have quite a good impact, and he's had a really good season. He's, yeah. No, he's played um, well. He's to coach against your son. Um. Because he does. I mean, he is almost like their big threat in a sense. Yeah. I've had enough of him now. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we know we we you know he he's been uh, he's been playing really good rugby. He's 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 managed the the, the game really well. Uh, we know he's going to be a threat on on Saturday, and we're going to have to close uh, close his space down. Um, having said that, uh, in in Kerwin, you know we we've got a fantastic youngster that's also played really good rugby, and and I think it's going to be a great matchup. Do you get a, a chance this week at all to kind of take stock and just um, look at the situation for what it is? I mean, you and your you know, sons, Port de Piers, yeah. the Craig Cup final, it's quite big. I mean, do you get any chance this week to no. just enjoy that or is it just business as usual? Yeah, well, I mean, we've, we've, had a, we've had an enjoyable week as, as, as coaches and, 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 and the players. And I think that uh, that was our aim for this week, that we're going to make this really a, a great week of training where the guys can really enjoy it. Uh, I, I'm not thinking too much about the, the, um, 
you know, the, Dan and John Luke and you know myself and, and Rob. It's it it is what it is, and you know, um, yeah. Robert, what what brought about this turnaround? Um, I mean, for the last two Curry Cup seasons, I know you've not been involved, uh, but but for the last two Curry Cup seasons, uh, Sharks didn't even manage to, to yeah. make the semis, and now you guys have been the Best side in the in the competition. What, what about that? We'll be the best side on Saturday <laughs> when we win. Uh, but yeah, it, look, I mean, its continuity has played a huge role. Uh, I, you know, it, and uh, since the, the sort of like Curry Cup last year, that's that's where it started, and you know, we we, we kept that continuity going through Super Rugby. Um, we we although we lost. Uh, 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 we lost a few guys, uh, you know, to the uh, to J- Japan and and uh, a couple of guys that that went to France. Um, I I think we've kept that continuity going, and the guys that have stepped in, the youngsters that have stepped in, have made a massive impact, and they played a huge role in, in terms of the whole squad uh, setup. Rob, how would you um, how would you describe your playing style or philosophy that you've tried to get the guys to play in the in the Curry Cup? Seems while you've obviously got the the backs to play attacking, you've yeah. really put an emphasis on the kicking game and the the work of the forwards being central to that. Yeah, I mean, I think too too much is uh, is made of of uh, ball and hand rugby. You know, I want to play winning rugby, and if that means I have to kick the ball a lot, I'll do that or we'll do that. Um, you know, we've this year we've played to our strengths, which is our tucker forwards. Having said that, the the, the backs have. Um, on on many occasions have really done well for us with ball in hand, so we can do both. Um, but you know, we 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 want to build that. We want to we want to build the way we want to play, and it doesn't happen overnight. Um, we, we're not a New Zealand rugby team. We're a South African rugby team, and we want to play a South African brand of rugby. Uh, do you think um, talking about winning rugby? Do you think maybe that's where we have some problems to start to correct in the last few? Well, they've gone away from the flesh to some extent. Yeah. I mean, earlier in the year, they were, they, they looked like they were trying to, to run too much and be too fast. Yeah. And they've now, they, they, does that make them also dangerous now? They've both, they I think so. They're they starting yeah. to play ugly rugby much better. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I think yeah. so. I mean, they've got, they've got really t- a talented, uh, a talented squad, a t- talented team. So, so yeah, uh, you know, with them sorting out their defence properly, uh, um, they're a very good side. I've, I've, I've been on the road for the last day or two, so mm. I'm not sure um, if Yaka Kutsi has been pronounced fit or anything. No, no. Would that make it? Because he does make a big difference to the abrasive yeah. who's forward. Would that well, make a big difference to you? Yeah, look, I mean, we. No, not really. I mean, uh, I, I don't know who. If he doesn't play, who they will put in, in his place, but. Um, but much he's really a number eight. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Ron, throwing it over to you. Um, I haven't done my. Research here. This isn't your first Cup final. No, no. So, so this is probably my, my second one. Um, one, one, lost one. So, uh, you know, obviously being the f- first time as being a captain. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge. And like I Rob said, those were a very enjoyable week. Um, I don't think it's any pressure on the guys. We just said let's go out and enjoy this week and, and enjoy the occasion that's set for us. You've got a couple of, like you said, now you played in the Curry Cup final. Someone like Keegan, I think, has played in four. Uh, mm. So a lot of experience to have alongside you, and same, <coughs> same thing goes probably for Odwa. Um, you feel like you've got quite a lot of support. Yeah, exactly like the previous week. So we've got a lot of senior guys in in the squad, like Keegan, Odwa, Franco, and those guys. You know, and especially with Keegan, Odwa playing a lot of finals. So you know, Keegan helps out with the forwards, keeping the forwards calm and composed, and then Odwa is at the back. Sort, Odwa and Michael Claus is at the back. Sort, you know. Um, handling the backs, even Louis. Louis also played in a few a few finals as well. So, you know, uh, we've got a, a great mix of uh, new guys playing their first final and uh, a few seasoned guys who've already played a few finals. So, I think we've got the balance quite good. You said that you, you said that you, you, you said this is your third final. Yeah. You won it. So it was 2013 when you lost to the Sharks, and then 2014 when you beat um, the Lions. Obviously, playing for problems. Yeah. Well, those are two games. Yeah, okay. that's it. Um, it seems like captaincy. Uh, Doing you well, you feel you had a good season, and, and how are you embracing captaincy? You think it, it, it makes you a better player? No, I think, uh, like I said, I mean, when Coach Rob said, uh, Art, you know, told me the first time, you know, um, he's going to make me captain. I said, he said, 
you know, one thing I took on board is not to change anything that I'm doing. Just keep on playing the game I'm doing. It's just another leadership role on the field. So that's how I embrace it. So I'm just using this, this every opportunity I get on the field to, to do what I do each game in, in and out. And then the leadership is just something extra. Are you looking forward to your, to your battle with uh, J.D. Schickling? Oh, well, uh, he's had a good season so far, um, him and Chris Monsell. Um It's old friends, old rivals, so, you know, looking forward to the competition and uh, looking forward to a good game. What is it like playing, I mean, does it, does it give you an extra edge if you're playing against the old team? I mean, you were there for a while. Yeah, well, it's, if you're playing against old teammates, old, you know, it's, I don't, I don't know one player who comes from an old unit and, uh, you know, likes losing against them, so... Um, we just want to win against them. It's not. It's not a personal battle for me. It's a team effort, a, com- a complete team effort. So, I will do what I'll do my my part of whatever helps the team. I remember saying you were the last before as well. Yeah. Because you've got experience with that. Ryan, uh, very few finals sort of go smoothly for teams. There are always sort of times when the tide seems to be against you. What What will your message be to the boys in, in those tough times on Saturday? Um, so throughout the whole season, we faced every situation we could. So you know, just to stay calm and composed, um, whatever they throw at us, is we should just have to look up and face it, face it again, and then um, just uh, regain from there. Ron, um, whatever happens at Saturday, this has been a good season for you personally and for the Sharks. But what would it mean to you personally and to this team if you holding that trophy aloft with Papa Spada instead of? Oh, it's, uh, it's a it's, it's a competition that goes goes um, a long while and there's a lot of history. So you know, lifting that cup, obviously being behind the scenes, lifting lifting a cup with behind another another guy. So now being actually in front and lifting the cup, that's uh, that's an ultimate dream. That's something I can't achieve on myself. So you know, I'm banking on my teammates and even the guys that's not on the field. You know, to to play that part part and play that role in, in um, winning the cup. Yeah, there's a, there's a lot of uh, like I said, there's a lot of young guys playing their first Curry Cup final, and I don't think one of them will go in this game, you know, wanting to lose a, lose a final, the first final. So, I think the the energy in, in the squad uh, throughout the whole team, you know, young season campaigners, anything that's that's something we're going to bring to the field. So we're just looking forward to the competition and the rival in the in the game and. Uh, uh, hopefully having a having a good game and just enjoying the moment and opportunity. Ron, being one of the uh, the best uncapped locks in the country, in a country where where there are a lot of there's a lot of depth in the lock position, um, can that make you feel a bit discouraged if you see if you, you know you're playing very good rugby but you see the, the guys standing uh, at the box um, and and that's the first part. The question, the second part, is there a Springbok selection in the back of your mind? Uh, so, so, so answering your first question, so yeah, yeah, we we, we richly blessed with five locks and guys in my position. So for me, as I you know, always rely on God. God has a plan for me at, at a later stage. It, it hasn't happened to happen until now for a reason. So you know, I'm looking forward to what lies ahead. And then um, answering your second part of the question, that was a, you know, just to, just take everything like it is. I'm I'm not I'm not focusing on something else. Like I said, I'm focusing on the team this week. It's uh, it's first the Sharks. You know, this is where this all comes down to this final. So. My, there's nothing outside of the area that I'm focusing on. Nothing outside the Sharks and the Fangs. I don't care. I don't know worry about uh, the Springboks or anything now. For me and now, it's just the Curry Cup final and playing with the Sharks and the Panda Brothers. Brock, from your side, is there a danger that you bring to the players' minds? Uh, you know, what call ups and possibilities of selection during the game? Yeah, I. I well, isn't the Bok team being selected already? Tell us. <laughs> uh-huh. So yeah, I'm sure there's the, you know the, the guys that are on the fringes uh, are, 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 are is definitely something. So, but that makes it an interesting game and you know a game that you know it's all to play for. So hopefully that will motivate uh, both teams. Robert, you, um, um, there's <coughs> a chance of some rain on Saturday. Uh, what will you do to prepare for that? <laughs> yeah, from your locals. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> Well, if, if there is rain... The rain will suit us. Yeah, okay. Is that what you want to do? Well, it just doesn't change the dynamic. <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't mind. We, we, whether it's dry or rain, yeah. we'll take it as it comes. Um, yeah. You, you spoke yeah. of the importance of um, composure. Um, could you just touch on Kerwin Bosch and whether you feel he's shown he has that temperament, obviously he's had an important role to play, especially with the drop, yeah. the, the drop kicking, you know... Is that part of your your plan, or does he get the freedom to, to kind of choose when the moment's right? 
No, I, I mean, we'll, we'll, uh, Kerwin is that type of player that, you know, if, if, uh, if there's an opportunity to, uh, to go for a drop goal and, you know, uh, so, yeah, but, you know, and, and, you know, we, we have to build it up for him uh, to get to that stage where he can attempt a drop goal, but, um, you know, he is that type of player. He's, he's, he's uh, um, a really intelligent player, talented player that can, that, that, uh, that when there's a big occasion, he steps up. Rob, a lot has been made of the scrum battle between Thomas de Tua and Bolton yeah. um, what, do you, what do you think, what are your thoughts on the scrum battle? How important will that be? Yeah, it's the, the set, piece, set piece battle is going to be massive. So, yeah, and, and uh, I mean, they've, got a, they've got a very solid front row and, and so do we. So it's going to be a massive battle. Final two questions. Rob, you played as one of the greatest drop kick uh, exponents of all time. And, and Nas, was it, was it the same? Was it just something that he intuitively thought was on and just said, hey, Rob, I want straight back? Yeah. You know, is, is it, uh, yeah, I don't think it was as planned as it, as it is these days, and defences weren't as great as, as, as they are these days. So it's probably a bit more intuitive and, and when he played. Uh, but you know, those those fly offs that can read the situation, there's not a lot of them around.